Hello and welcome back to Study Hat and in today's video we're going to talk about units of measurement. You'll find that measuring things is commonplace and, and an act of everyday life. Perhaps just for a moment, pause the video and see if you can think of a few examples of measuring things yourself. Okay, welcome back. And if you have thought of a few of your own answers, then perhaps put them in the comments below and share. So here's a few of our examples. The first being measuring the amount of water in a jug. And liquids, like water, can be measured in millimetres, litres and fluid ounces. And if we look at this jug, we can see that we've got litres, but we've also got pints. Not all measuring jugs are the same and some will have fluid ounces on, for example. Units of measurement for a baby bottle might be millilitres and fluid ounces. And even your favourite fizzy drink will have a unit of measurement. Typically that might be millilitres or litres, for example, depending on the size of the bottle. Our next example of a unit of measurement is weight. And so what about weighing yourself on scales? So scales typically measure in pounds, kilogram or stones. Another example for weight is weighing food in the kitchen when you want something to eat, for example. So we measure in pounds, kilograms, grams or ounces. Notice that there's no stones there. That's because uh, a person is typically much heavier than an item of food. And when it comes to unit of measurements for liquids, we measure in fluid ounces, cups, teaspoons, tablespoons, millilitres and litres, for example. And perhaps another example of measuring liquids is in science experiments at school, for example. So what about measuring the length of something? You measure in millimetres, centimetres, inches, feet, metres, yards, kilometres and miles. So let's think about a tape measure for a moment. What are the units of measurement on a tape measure? Pause the video for a moment and see if you can work out the answer. Let us know in the comments below, um, but here we are. The answers for the measurements on a tape measure are millimetres, centimetres, inches, feet, and meters. And one example of the use of a tape measure might be for measuring the height of somebody. So perhaps you've done this in in your home. Perhaps your parents have measured the height of you and seen seen how much you've grown each year. So, what units of measurement is temperature measured in? Again, let's pause the video and see how many you can get right, and place your answers in the comments. So we've got Fahrenheit, or degrees F, Celsius, degrees C, and Kelvin. And often body temperature is measured orally, and whilst it can vary, 37 degrees is the average body temperature. So let's look at another example, measurements of speed. So the most common units of speed are meters per second, kilometers per hour, and miles per hour and speed is a measure of how fast something is moving. So let's look at an application of this in the real world. So what is this sign showing the driver of a car? Again let's pause the video and see if you can put your answers in the comments and then we'll come back in a second. So this sign is showing the driver that they should be traveling at a maximum of 10 miles per hour in their vehicle. So how many of you are paying attention just now? What is the unit of measurement for speed? So let's pause the video. So the unit of measurement for speed in this case is miles per hour, but can also be measured in kilometers per hour. Well, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, reach out to us at support at studyhat.com. This is Study Hat. Learning for life.